hello. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, there you go. Hey, how are you? Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Have, are, are you still are you still in Vegas or, or did you go back to California? Uh, I went back to California, but I'm three hours away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, those guys that the guys at Kings MMA, I think, have probably the worst record for like canceled fights and like just weird <laughs> stuff happening around fights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We always got the the last minute calls, and you know, we always there if something. Yeah, but you guys are always ready too, so yeah, <laughs> it's better. This is what we do. So, have you have you caught up with your social media, or is it still like it's blowing up? Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, has it ever been that bad, or not that bad? Obviously, like that good. <laughs> um, say again, please. Has it ever been that much? No, no, never like that. No. Never for sure. You know, the cops once and probably like the yeah, he's the, the biggest name I beat in MMA and uh yeah, everyone is giving me some good messages they send me and uh it's a lot of fun, but it's tireful. I've never been yeah. like this, you know, like so I'm pretty much like <laughs> 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 Do you feel like a lot of pressure from from your fans? Uh no, I mean it's kind of of course responsibility, you know, the, mm. but I enjoy this, you know. This kind of gives me more more energy, you know, I'm more fun also uh and also whatever I say, I try to make with my moves and uh yeah. 2 months ago I, I just shared something on my Facebook page that two months ago I uh, so when uh, fight got uh, official mm -hmm. uh, everyone was saying that oh that's a great test for Giga you know it's a huge it's a big test now we're gonna see how good is Giga is he real or is he fake you know because uh, everybody was saying that oh Giga was fighting with nobody's inside UFC and outside of UFC. It's like, how can you guys say that? And, you know, that I shared uh, two months ago when the official was a fight that, you know, what do you guys say? Like, or something like this I write, wrote in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Like, like um, the test? What type of test? That's going to be first <laughs> round TKO. And uh, <laughs> I just reshared and I was happy to see that it's kind of Somebody sent me that, hey, you remember the, 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 you say that? <laughs> yeah, man. And two back-to-back -back performance, performance or KO of the night? Uh, do, do they call it KO? I don't, I don't even know what they call it anymore. I think performance this time. Yeah, performance. performance and the yeah. other one, maybe the other one was KO. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> 50 <laughs> Gs, <laughs> baby. <laughs> The only thing is, like, you think you get it immediately, and you get it like a month after. Especially if you have USADA. Do you have any USADA pending tests? I do. I do have. Yeah, because uh, when did they test me? They test me right before I went from here. Yeah. Oh. I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> four months. You're not gonna see that for like four months. What? No, I'm just kidding. Really? No, 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 but like <laughs> for real, if you need to have um all your tests need to be like passed clear, in order for yeah. them to, to, yeah, clear, like in order for them to, to release the money. Yeah. And sometimes okay. it take like a while and you already uh, planned, yeah. you're like 50 cheese, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're just like, yeah. So no, it'll be in two months that you can do that. It's just sad. <laughs> do you have any yeah. like plans for it? I do. Yeah. I straight, like I have a meeting in uh, two hours. I'm going to meet some landlord and take talking oh. to buy the house and stuff like that. Oh, my God. You know? yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank you. But first, I have to, you know, find it. I mean, you know, like, uh, here is a little weird. In my country, it's pretty easy. You got the money, 
straight <laughs> what what type of house like they give you some weird paper and you own the house here i have to go yeah. the process you know like a bank and uh, then credit credit score how many person i interest rates and stuff like that and then i have to find find, find the house and uh, <laughs> lately lately in uh, california in the city i live in huntington beach mm-hmm. prices like in past uh, four or five months changed maybe like grow like three three hundred thousand more like you literally Oh for the gosh. one million dollar you can find just a house it's crazy it's really crazy yeah. i think the market gonna crush but i i don't know we were waiting first for a long time we've been living here six years you know and i'm on a rent here it's paying like nearly 3k per month for six years it's kind of a lot i want to yeah. get my house <laughs> for real it feels like you're paying somebody else's mortgage exactly <laughs> yeah i remember like because um I, I went to california for a little bit i think i was only there for like a month or two and mm-hmm. i was looking at airbnbs and they were all like three four thousand i just like, kept yeah. messaging, like hey if i stay for longer can you give me a discount <laughs> and then yeah, they'll be like hey. no that's the price of it <laughs> Airbnb much, much more right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because the Cal- demand is really high here. So everyone wants to make some extra. So how did you like go to transition to Cal? Because California, like I said, it's expensive. And and you moved there for MMA, right? To train at King's MMA. Yeah, that was the reason. I visited First in 2014, I was mm-hmm. looking for a different type of opportunities because I used to live in Amsterdam, you know, mm-hmm. doing a Dutch kickboxing. And they offered me the boxing career to start mm-hmm. uh, in F- Philadelphia. And very well-known trainer. Unfortunately, last year he died, Nazim Richardson from Bernard Hopkins coach mm-hmm. and Shane Mosley's coach. And, uh, and then I... Pr- I did not like somehow the Philadelphia, you know, like to yeah. leave. You know, I was mm-hmm. from Amsterdam. I, I mean, I'm from Georgia, but I lived in capital in Georgia, then lived capital in Amsterdam, you know, Netherlands, right? And then I went in Philadelphia. It was just a boxing gym, you know. I didn't see much of the <laughs> other. Yeah, like, I'm out, and I traveled after, and uh, my last destination was California. And uh, I visited many different gyms, boxing gyms, MMA gyms. Uh, and yeah, that was my last stop here. The, the same day I fly back, the morning I visited Kings. Mm-hmm. And somehow me, uh, Rafael and uh, Benil, mm-hmm. we get somehow like connection with, I felt. And since then they were like, Come, ah, man, you should come. That's a place to stay here and this and that. And here we go. What Was it hard with the visa? I had the visa from Boxing uh, Offer. Oh, okay. So they yeah. already had this. But then I had to do from my... So I have had a 10-year tourist visa they did for me. That's kind okay. of different. That's how they do from my country. Mm-hmm. And I, I had to apply for the... O one, which is kind of working visa temporarily yeah. for two years, and then I get my green card, and yeah. I feel like your daughter is smooth. like a superstar. Oh, that's great for, for <laughs> me. For me, that immigration never goes smooth. It always goes like high <laughs> expectation, deported <laughs> <laughs> on to the next country. I know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I have so many international teammates and. They were all going through in the processes, but I was lucky that I had um, some uh, good uh, letters from my country, you know, yeah. like the letters from my city mayor, oh wow, uh, assistant of prime minister, and the people like that. They kind of give me the nice letters. That I, uh, and also United Nations, they give me some special letter. And they, they, all she, these, she show up like, 
I was like, what's up, if man? You want, <laughs> yeah, like you if you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's oh, why that's it was awesome. so easy. And plus the the Ali, I met before Ali, and he mm-hmm. gave me the you know, World Series of Fighting contract straight. So okay. they could see that I had the work, I had this, the letters, and this helps me a lot. But for the beginning, it's a funny story. When I used to live, uh, when I was in Georgia, so I wanted to go and check check out America first time to see the boxing opportunity, yeah. whatever, whatever. You know? And uh, they sent me invitation first, and the invitation says like, "We want to bring Giga," <laughs> something like this. You know? so, like, <laughs> I already like- know that I already know that <laughs> they would. Do. They would refuse my the tourist visa to go there, you know. And but I went straight uh, in embassy. Mm-hmm. I went embassy with this <laughs> the white paper, and uh, they of course they told me no. And I mean they they declined my visa, mm-hmm. and after one week I went back again w- with some extra documents, and they gave me. Yeah, they the mayor like, was like, listen, just, you better write a good letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and after one week, they were, we just uh, declined your visa. Why are you here? I was like, I want to know why you declined the visa. And then the, <laughs> the lady I was talking, he was kind of cool. And, um, you know, I like you. I like your character. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad he got that sorted. That's That's always such a, such a limiting factor for for athletes and for just everyone for really. sure yeah. especially because yeah. and then in california you have such good jujitsu you have such good grappling you can go to competition you have they do the world of nogi in california i mean like what else do you want it's literally i think right now can be the capital of like fight capital of the world like in mma mm, yeah for sure, for sure. Awesome. I have everything like, right here. Plus, uh, you know, like besides uh, MMA, you know, you can get uh, in different uh, martial arts, very high level, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, boxing as well. And uh, I go, I get uh, some of my friends to bring uh, from the different boxing gyms, which, you know, like they have their own professional career and they coming at Kings helping us, me, a couple of other friends, you know, I'm saying besides jujitsu and besides regular yeah, of striking course. and wrestling and plus, yeah, I mean, card conditioning, we got very good coach also. They kind of not an official partner with Kings, but all of our, most of our guys, we go there and it's everything really good. That's awesome. <laughs> did, did you did you always know that you wanted to go to MMA, like while you were doing kickboxing, or was it during a uh, fight that you thought of it? <laughs> and the, my story starts from long, long way long. So I was a karate fighter, and my dream mm-hmm. was to be just fighter and live like that, not like a coach, not like other thing. I graduated university as well, and uh, at, at some point, family wanted me to like maybe start some business and go in other way uh, stuff. But uh, I really wanted to get paid from the fighting, and that's how I wanted to feed my family. You know, and uh, I see that karate was not paying anything, so I moved to kickboxing. And keep, because K one was uh, very popular back in the days, especially yeah. in my country and Europe. Everyone was watching K1, and I ended up like in one of the best gyms of the world in K1, like Mike's gym, Golden Glory, Boss gym, and I lived there for seven years in Netherlands. And uh, then I see that K1 died in 2011. Uh, they had like really hard time, like ten years ago, literally ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm in Amsterdam, and I have I'm young. I have wife uh, daughter and I, was, I see that from kickboxing i don't make money you know I, I, mm-hmm. they they would offer me to you know netherlands they would offer me to give me the oh we give you a vip ticket vip table and you sell it i say like what <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even from amsterdam I'm georgia you know, where, where, where i'm gonna do with this <laughs> Get the so that was a reason why i was uh try to start either boxing or mma 
And then, uh, since I had a good kick, <laughs> you know, I, I thought that uh, boxing will be a little bit like waste to not to yeah, use like my kicks. And, and uh, I decided to go to MMA, so I would add some more wrestling and ground game and uh, make a good package for MMA. And uh, I've been doing this uh, since 2014, slowly. But mm -hmm. since 2014, I was very serious about it. And uh, beginning of 2015, uh, we moved from Amsterdam to here. Uh, and yeah, I started jiu-jitsu, wrestling, which I never did in my life before. Oh, you did it. I was going to ask you that because I don't know if it... It was a video. I think it was translated. So, oh, also, I was trying to learn some Georgian. Let's see. I have <laughs> Gamarjova, which. Yeah. Good, yeah. Good, good. Gamarjova. It's a hello. And also, it's a kind of um, be blessed or be winner kind of word. You know, oh, Gamarjova, awesome. it's a hello. But also, when somebody wins some big thing like competition, it's like. It's kind of when we say each other, we wish a uh, winning. That's pretty much what that mean. See, I should have started it like that, but I was nervous. I was like, I've never talked <laughs> no, to him did, before. I don't really want him to like <laughs> <laughs> No, you did perfect. <laughs> I totally forgot where, <laughs> what I was asking you. <laughs> you were talking about the video. I think you saw the when I was born. Yes, of your of your time, dad. Right? That yes, yeah. yes, that that um he said you were gonna be judo and swimming champion. <laughs> yeah, because he was yeah. a judo guy. And yeah, she, so he was former swimmer and judo guy. Yeah, that's what that's the reason why he said. <laughs> of course, when I have kids, they're gonna do MMA, <laughs> they have no choice. <laughs> but like did because he was a judo guy, like you'd never done any any well, wrestling obviously is not judo, but it's still takedown. You never did any of that? Uh, my karate style. So I started with Kyokushin, but then I moved to mm -hmm. very quick to a style called Goju Ryu. It's like mm -hmm. the, it's uh, mixed with points karate and also Kyokushin plus takedown and plus punches in the face. It's pretty much like oh. MMA, you know? Yeah. With the, and you can have like five or 10 seconds like submission on the ground pretty much a mature mma style and uh, that was the reason why my dad used to teach me a couple of takedowns but that was not my like, i hate it i hate it like, and it, because i was kicking a lot and uh, what they would do in karate they would catch my leg and try yeah. to sweep me try to take me down and i was good with the kicking and these guys were try to do some I was like, no, nah, thank you, Dad. You know, I wish I did, but <laughs> yeah. I never liked it. I never liked it. So di didn't you have that fear when you were like, hey, I'm going to do MMA because you didn't like it when you were younger? No, no, I liked it MMA, but I liked the striking type of MMA. You know, like let's say the I... Actually, it's funny when I watched the first UFC, I was like five year old, watched the Ray Royce Gracie winning the UFC first, second, and fourth, and and I I was a fan of Royce, but somehow because that uh, time was uh, like a Jet Li, Bruce Lee, that type of movies very popular. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like all like in you know, striking, <laughs> you know. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to be a striker. Yeah, I mean, I was more fan of more fan of uh, striking, and that's how I followed. It's like it, it's what looks coolest in the movies, right? Everyone remembers a guy that does like thirty spins or just some striking <laughs> stuff. <laughs> For sure, I, you don't know uh, how many times I watched a couple of fight scenes from Jet Li movie. It's like in a series. <laughs> I still no, I, I mean, I was just showing to my son. You know, I have five-year-old Max, mm -hmm. and oh, I was showing him, like, look, and when I was showing <laughs> him, I just went back to the age where I was watching the time, first time this, you know, I was so excited to explain him. They, they, what? I, mean, I still enjoy that. Which which one did you show him? Which Jelly movie? Uh, first, uh, Feast of the... Uh, I don't know the English name, so it, he's pretty much like the, 
from one team going to other team in the dojo and he goes to karate dojo and uh, he has a fight scene that he's beating the whole team and he's in a circle um gotcha he's very young in that movie very <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember <laughs> and it, yeah, it's like been crazy about me what because i haven't completely caught up with all the cool like Jet Li movies and stuff. Well, Jet Li, I really liked. I like the what do you call it? Oh, uh, the one where they had like a, a necktie on him. Like oh, the, yeah. The, like a dog. Uh, like, yeah, like uh, the dog yeah. collar. Yeah. I, <laughs> weird is like I kind of like that movie. I just like like just the fact that he was like, yeah, like a sensitive guy and then just <laughs> released and was an animal. Yeah. So, like, I was so yeah. into that movie. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want to be like that. I just want to be like, you know, loving and then just go crazy. <laughs> Do you know who used to wear that type of thing in the cage when he was fighting? Uh, the ring, the Melvin Manoff. Remember the fighter? Yeah. Melvin? He used to be my teammate and uh, I was making a fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> he thought, I, I spent like, I love Holland and I love Amsterdam and I spent just just because I don't find kickboxing like that anywhere else. The combos, the way they, they link it, it, the timing of it, it's just, it's kind of like a cultural thing there. You know? Did like, you train I, there? Of course I did. I, I, I lived there for a while. The thing is, Holland. Where did you I live there? Holland. Okay. I lived in several places. I've been like really? around Amsterdam. Yeah, not Amsterdam Central because you know that's like for billionaires. <laughs> 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 like like those cute little canal things you see in the picture. Oh, it's like, it's like four thousand. No, <laughs> that's like yeah. Airbnb one night, Instagram, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. But yeah. uh, uh, which gym did you train? Uh, train there? I I trained at, at various gyms because Holland. For for me, it's one of my favorite countries. Like I just I like the people. Me and too. People are like mm. yeah, it's, the people are open. You're in oh. Europe. You can get anywhere in like two hours. You Three know? hours in Paris. Yeah. <laughs> so I I did try. I was at Mike's gym for for a little bit. I I went to Vos gym. I trained really? in Den Haag. Yeah, I trained wow. with Nick you Hammers all, too. Yeah, well, wow. all of them. He, Nick Hammers too. <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, that's funny. So, um, you just mentioned in, uh, the gyms that I I only trained that gyms, you know, not Ten Hag, <laughs> but I trained in Breda with Nick. Yeah. Uh, Nick Nick was my teammate at the time. Ramon Deckers and Core Hammers, mm -hmm. they used to be my coaches for two years. And then I went to Mike's gym for two years. I used to live there. Uh, and then my last three years, I spent to Vos gym. You went in an old Vos gym or new Vos gym? Because uh, uh, I I don't know. I the Vos gym I remember had like had like a chamber, you know, like high altitude type of chamber. So that's uh, that was a new, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. met Francois also, the white uh, coach, like Francois yes. Lubers. Yes. And uh, Ivan Hippolyte too. I, I don't know. I don't know the name. <laughs> Probably if I see a picture, yes. <laughs> they listen to this, they're like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. You know? Like, they trained you. One of the, the teammates from them, like one of my teammates from that team, he's just here. Uh, he cornered me for my last fight. Uh, he stayed uh, one month and he's leaving. He was going to leave yesterday, but he... Uh, he accidentally missed the, missed the flight. He said he had the flight 6 p.m. and he had the flight at 9 a.m. Uh, he's still there. Like. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so what is he going to do? Is he just going to stay with you? Uh, they were talking about my fight. I was going to fight either this weekend, either next weekend, either uh, 22nd. So I was thinking him to stay, but uh, yesterday they called me and uh, they are thinking, so none of the three uh, options didn't work. Not okay. from the UFC, from the fighters. It's funny oh, how, gotcha. many, how many people are, <laughs> how many people are, uh, are not taking the fight. It's really funny. I never thought that that would be the hard time for me, for you. In yeah, UFC, especially but, in the UFC. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they are working on something special. Or July, 
And, Do you uh, have any idea yeah. what's special? Uh, one of the names I mentioned after my fight, maybe some, mm. maybe main for fight night or something in July, but I'm not, not going to be super, <laughs> super clear, okay? Just going to give okay. you a little bit. <laughs> but you but know, it's like, I for saw... sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, like all the planning and stuff and everything in the yeah. world is for crazy. this weekend. F- I offered myself get. for cowboy and for next weekend. Uh, I wanted Jeremy and then it was 22nd, uh, another top, f- not top 15 featherweight fighter. He's also well known. Uh, and all this three didn't work. I mean, the last one they said, no, he does not. Uh, worth to fight you. He's not uh, earned oh. yet. <laughs> oh, uh, like, I like that. Earned. <laughs> yeah. Better respect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I saw that in the in an interview you did, I think it was like media day for Copenhagen that you were talking about um, you wanting to fight either Cub Swanson, she just mm-hmm. did, um, Alex I just know him as Bruce, Bruce Lee Roy. I, I can't oh, yeah, pronounce yeah. his last name. But like that obviously like went through um Yair, which I would die if that fight happened. That would be so <laughs> that would be nice fight. Epic. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so epic. I like I absolutely love fights that are well your style, you know, like exciting kickboxing. You, you set traps, you you know, like you, there's a clear difference from somebody who's had a whole bunch of glory. I'm um, not glory, like kickboxing fight, fights, has grown up in in martial arts to somebody who has done it in the gym. Do you know what I mean? Like there's like tricks and stuff that you only develop from from competing. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that fight, and there's the beat, which who knows what's going on with him. Oh, that looked like an important name. <laughs> oh yeah, because you know, like it's uh, it's for sure the special. But I don't think uh, I don't it's think he's going to continue or something. Yeah, oh, something yeah. going on for the health or uh, I don't. I not. I'm not hundred percent sure what's happening. But yeah, that would be the nice because uh, he's from other side of the mountain. I'm from other side with Dagestan and Georgia. Is like the mm-hmm. neighbors. And uh, it would be for sure the fun one because he's a style from the Ushu Sanda, I think. Yeah, he, and yeah. my from karate background, kickboxing. That's kind of two very good stylistic uh, fighters to fight. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Rodriguez, that would be the most uh, desirable fight for me. Max Holloway, I mentioned. That yeah, would be nice, Max Holloway. Yeah. Because that his last, that's funny that I was commentating his fight in Georgia on TV uh, this January, and I was like, man, man, I, was, I could not <laughs> hold my emotions. You know, people loved it, and I was like, I want to fight him, I want to fight him, and I got a ton of messages like, you can't fight him, you're gonna get beat up, and now I'm more motivated to, yeah, make this fight happen. You know, in my hometown people were sending me messages that no 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 you can't fight him he's way better i was like what <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay let's just analyze you can't do you know how <laughs> how many world t- titles i have <laughs> what do you mean i can't you know like stand up with the guy and well I I'm, I'm pretty sure call- this fight like changed completely that yeah like yeah i think so then yeah. I went to the Sean Strait and gave the plan, you know. Okay, I beat Cub. I'm top 10. I want Kelvin. So after Kelvin, if I beat, then he fought Max. You know? It was pretty yeah. much there. He was like, yeah, Kelvin, maybe it's too early. Like, And then next, like two days ago, like I jumped in top 10. And he's now he realized that he's, everything's possible. So... We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen, but I feel uh, have a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about that. The kick. That was sick, man. And you landed it <laughs> a lot in glory. You set it up beautifully. Is there, 
when 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 did that start? Like when did you start hurting people with it? It's funny. Uh, also, cause uh, I have this kick since karate, and mm-hmm. I used to play the soccer. Uh, I, I love soccer, and uh, the hobby we had, the, me and my karate friends, we used to play it like every weekend. And um, next to our gym was the national team of the mean mini like the indoor soccer team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we even sometimes we had the chance to play with them, you know, and we were really good and they were scared. So <laughs> I mean, sometimes they, we would, we would win too. And that was the guy who would score the goal, like in an attack offense I was playing. And when was the ball were coming like right in the air, I could kick from the, in the air, like a high kick and score the goal like that. You know, uh, I learned this from the, you know, Zidani, the soccer player, Zinedine mm-hmm. Zidane. I don't know if you know her the name. Zidane, he used to do this really well. And uh, pretty much I like I was practicing this kick at Karate <laughs> Dojo. And um, I ended up to do this uh, kick in Karate Sparrings. I see that it's working. And then I started to do the winner fights. And... Uh, my kick was pretty like flexible for for the young age because I had the good uh, flexibility for the kicks, yeah. so I could call it. I could change the from last second from middle to high, from high to low, or whatever. And then uh, uh, I'm just I don't know. I, I made them my kind of special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, people started to call it Giga Kick. I was like, yeah, I like the name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Dan told me, <laughs> uh, the thing is, like, I don't know how you're going to react to it. If you're going to hate me after. But he said you should call it the Giggity Kick. You should say Giggity after you, like, have Giggity? you seen Family? Yeah, like, have you seen Family Guy from like Quagmire? Uh, I, I don't know, honestly. I, no, I oh my god, you have, yeah. you have. <laughs> if, if you if you like cartoons, it's like it's like the same, I do, I but, do. but like South no, Park. I, I know what Family Guy, but I have not really watched this series, you know. Like maybe I oh, watched no, it it's, once. Just, it's just Quagmire, he always says giggity, <laughs> so giggity. Like, <laughs> yeah. but it, it's more when he's kind of when he likes a girl and he thinks she's like, I don't know, hot. <laughs> Like a banzai. Yeah, every time you every time you hit it, you just like point at them and say giggity. <laughs> okay, I like that. I'll think about it. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Imagine like all the MMA memes. I follow I follow all the meme pages. Yeah. You, just What's in case you eat, um the strangle squad is good. Uh okay. Uh, I'll find it. I don't know. They're just like weird names. I'll send it to you on Instagram. Thank I just, you, I kind of want to be their that. friend. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's good to like be their friend in case, you know, you do something stupid or something happens. <laughs> they don't put bad memes about you. <laughs> it's really, you it's gotta really be true. friends with them. <laughs> For yeah. Sure. Freaking awesome. Did, did you find it harder to, to like, I, I absolutely love kicking. Right. And I asked this question more for me. But the problem I have is like when I kick, sometimes I get overly excited. And, you know, Mm -hmm. that's when people like grab you and take you down and you just end up like, I want to kick. But, you know, Mm -hmm. like I don't want to like just start grappling right now. Um, Did you find that you had to make any adjustments to to your kicks? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, like when I moved here, I thought like. Uh, don't take it wrong, but MMA striking from the, the kickboxing side, if you are at a high level and you watch it, you think that, who are they? It's I'll gross. Just kill them, <laughs> it's you know? gross. Yeah. yeah, especially if you end up watching some wrestler who just turned the uh, in MMA and stuff, like he throws a punch and goes to shoot right away. You think that's, that's MMA striking only. And that's what I was thinking too. And uh, I thought I was going to go there without any experience of MMA because I'm karate world champion, kickboxing world champion. I'm going to kill them all. But well, <laughs> guess what? I went there and the guy catch me 
catch my leg, take me down and stay there for three rounds and hug me like <laughs> more than my kids and wife hugs me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was like, wow, that's not what I thought. Yeah. Uh, that was my first loss. Then I lost again after a couple of fights. So it like contender series. I was preparing for the big time to shine this and stuff. But yeah, of course. Kind of similar thing. I was winning the 14 minutes fight and last minute in the 15th, uh, he caught my kick mm -hmm. and take me down. And same thing and submit me. So I had to do a lot of adjustment after that. But that time I was kind of doing the two things together. I was doing high level kickboxing. I was in the glory tournaments, the highest stage champions who were hiding from me running around. And uh, same time I wanted to go in high level MMA. It was, it was really hard for me because you cannot catch two rabbits. It goes there, one, yes, one there, and what are you going to do? So that's what was, was my case. And then I kind of stopped to do kickboxing uh, completely. And I started to think, make my, shake my brain and started to find my style, like uh, what I have to do. And... Uh, yeah, I do less kicks, and now I start to pick picking more shots, not just like yeah. five punch combo and kicks. And uh, because also the, I was guessing out a lot. Uh, my cardio, everyone was talking about like, oh, Giga has best cardio, Giga has best cardio. But in reality, I was throwing the like first. 10 seconds, like almost 20 kicks. I would, would yeah, say. for and sure. You know what happens when you do a lot of kicks? So you just guess out much more than punches. And now I kind of only do the, the ones that I think is going to land for sure. Mm -hmm. Before I would just get emotional and like, kick, 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 <laughs> kick, 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 punch, punch, punch. Kick. <laughs> now I'm more found my pace you know if you i kick i i try to bring my leg right away back uh, do a lot of fakes and change ankles and all this helps a lot because i don't need uh, so much anymore like i used to do like throw like 100 weapons and not really uh, not really land any of yeah, those makes sense. Yeah. is there anything that you can't use in mma that you used to use in in kickboxing yeah i feel bad yeah i don't use much of this <laughs> like spinning jumping and that type of kicks because now i i'm i mean maybe for this period because i'm still growing i'm still finding a lot of things because mm -hmm. i would do like um like you know rolling thunder they call in english oh yeah you spin and like <laughs> oh that's, yeah. that's awesome so if you watch my fights from karate or kickboxing, I was doing this in almost every fight, you know, <laughs> and it was really nice. Uh, and X kicks too. But uh, now, one thing, it takes a lot of energy. And another one, if I, if I do miss X kick, there is a lot of uh, possibility that I go down. And yeah. if I do rolling thunder, I'm already on the ground. And yeah. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, depends who I fight and why to take a risk to be on the ground with high level. And everyone in my division now, they are black belt jiu-jitsu and I'm the mm -hmm. blue belt, you know, like it's, yeah. it, that's kind of level difference. But I feel like I'm there. I said I'm going to start throwing the thunders too. Yeah, it's like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think a lot with, with the striking and the grappling it's for me in for me I feel like I've there's just this just weird transition where you don't quite get it and things don't quite like sink in with like grappling and like the because it's it's not the same when you start for example, you're in a grappling class, right? You start like on your knees or like half wrestling and stuff. It's not the same that then I'm throwing a kick or I'm doing something and I'm landing in, sure. in that position, you know? So when, when you're able to feel comfortable with that to then attack, man, that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. <Yeah. laughs> that's scary. Cause it's like it, 
I just think like from it's a lot easier when you're already ahead. Like when you're taking somebody down, you're already ahead to like sort of keep them there or 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 advance from there. But like when you're in a position where you're basically like you start like you're fucked. Like you're just like <laughs> like over mm-hmm. here. Like <laughs> you know mm-hmm. you don't. It's it's, it's you're already behind. Mm-hmm. So it's like you give him the you open the door for him. Yeah, yeah exactly much. and they're they're already in so it, it's such a hard transition but like once once you feel like you got it there's something special to that something special to that because then then your kickboxing comes out and it's <laughs> more beautiful because you're not you know <laughs> you don't have that on the back of your mind and and i feel like that's kind of why wrestlers sometimes have success on with striking when their level might not be high just because You know, people are scared to, you just don't mm-hmm. want to go to the ground and you don't strike them like you would. So, mm-hmm. man, I'm For glad sure. to hear that you're wrestling and <laughs> especially in that team, especially yeah. over there. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> I can, oh, I can only imagine. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is the last thing uh, before I let sure. you go. You know, I, I know you have your, your house to look for. Um <laughs> So my mom also passed away from cancer and I didn't know that I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's just I remember when when I uh when I first saw I was kind of confused by your Instagram because it was knockout cancer and I was mm. like wait I'm like am, am I on like the wrong thing and and I remember reading about um just just you and like your story and how things you know how that how that changes people and families and it just destroys so it's just more of like a it's very inspiring to see that you started with your platform or doing something so beautiful and Thank like you. i don't know if 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 you want to talk about it a little bit you know yeah sure i mean usually like You have also pushed me to talk much this time. I don't mm-hmm. like to talk to a lot, but for sure, yeah. a little bit, I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, my mom passed, passed away in the 2013. And uh, since then, me and my sister, we started, uh, it's a little charity fund, you know, but it's not like huge. I mean, we have already some numbers that we help to people. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> nearly like 200 and wow. uh it's kind of uh getting better more i mean bigger it was uh, it's been my goal for a long time and uh i'm working on it it's slowly growing growing and yeah i, I think you should join us also sometime you know? for sure um, i'd mm. love to <laughs> it's I understand you not wanting to talk about it because I mean, I, I don't really like to talk about it. Yeah. Just when, when mm. I do like now I start to stutter and I'm just trying not to cry and like, think about it. And it's just, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in my case, uh, that's what uh, motivates me too. you know, like uh, that uh, I remember how was the, how hard it was for us to get uh, all the like, like you know how long uh, how many how much money you need for everything you know you need just yeah. all whatever you have everything you need you know you have to be ready for everything and that uh, that time was really like crazy for us and uh, collecting money even just a little little piece of uh, help they somebody give me that time and to my family we all remember everything And it's worth the, the more than a diamonds for me and more than yeah. life, you know, like, well, when I felt the people supporting us and that's pretty much what we try to do to help back. And plus, uh, whatever I do, I do in love and in memory of my mom. And I feel like she's still there for me and she enjoys this. You know? It's pretty much like, I pretty much I'm helping myself with it. <laughs> makes yeah. sense <laughs> yeah. makes sense it's not something easy to 
And, and I, I understand what you mean about, about medical bills. When, so I was living in America. I was in Florida mm-hmm. at the time. And yeah, I'd left. I'd went to, I went to back, back to my home country. I went to Venezuela. But just financial things like with my family and my mom, like they told her that she had something that might be cancerous. So, mm. uh, but she was so quiet about everything. She's never, you know, never wanted to tell anybody, never wanted to worry anybody. It was, everything was such a secret all the time. And, and, and in America, if you, <laughs> if you're sick, you're fucked. Like there, there's just no other. And like check checkups are so expensive and, you know, majority of money for checkups were spent on every time I broke my bone. <laughs> so it's just, it ended up with like her leaving the country and just bills. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy how horrible and how you, you see some people that, that give you just a little bit and it means the world. And then you see, you see how the system is for people that are sick and it's, it's so frustrating. It's, you know, you, you try not to think about it because it's <laughs> horrible. But exactly, yeah, yeah. But you know what? It's it's way better what you're doing instead of like, you know, going out and helping sure. others and, and giving back. So. Yeah, like the one of the time, uh, I don't meet these people. We help, you know. Like usually, I don't see mm-hmm. them. Like if I hear that somebody needs help, we check it out if it's real and whatever we of course that's not a lot too you know like i mean if you get some if you need 100 and you get five it's like the drop in a ocean you know it's yeah. not but still we do for from our part and uh, usually i don't meet these people and one time they made a meeting for me like uh, they invited me and surprised me like a couple of ladies like nearly 25 lady they made a meeting f- for me and i don't cry i'm not the type of guy you know I, i'm having a hard time to cry and i had a meeting with them and then they took uh to me so much and so from heart and um they, they mentioned that hey your mom passed away but you have like 25 more moms here you know it was <laughs> damn i couldn't wow. stop crying i i couldn't stop yeah i mean like i couldn't say any word you know it was so yeah. hard to me but yeah i mean that's my experience <laughs> man we gotta we gotta talk about something else <laughs> <laughs> for sure <laughs> that yeah. stuff that got me. <laughs> let's talk about your daughter that's in like movies and just <laughs> kicking ass <laughs> <laughs> she's good yeah she's she's 11 she's 11 and um doing some of the movies and she she got the award young best young actress yeah from hollywood film festival and that was like i don't know like you know you win something you win the kickboxing world title or karate world title it's a huge but your kid winning that type of thing, <laughs> and you, we didn't even expect it, you know, like my wife is kind of uh, not a manager for her, but more than a manager, you know, like she's the one who yes. takes care of this. And um, they they uh, shoot the movie called Lucy, and uh, it went a couple of months, you know, that right, it doesn't happen right away. You have to take like a couple, like almost a year. And then movie came, and then they was awards and stuff. And they called her and said that hey, your kid won the best actress, um, young actress from this uh, movie award. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she's uh, <laughs> she's really confident what she's doing. She loves it. And uh, plus, she trains too. You know, she does jujitsu and uh, kickboxing, and uh, yeah, everything goes by plan for her. And really proud of her. That's amazing, especially at such a young age to find something that, because like sometimes finding finding your thing is so hard, and I feel a lot of people don't just and to so, succeed so much. 
uh, three, when she was three, we used to live in Amsterdam. And she used to go in kindergarten. And when she was like turning four, four or five, yeah. So five, we decided to move to United States. And she got, um, she asked the mom to bring the camera before we left from Amsterdam to take a picture with the group and the teacher, you know, she was thinking. And then she asks uh, the picture and she, my wife takes a picture with the whole group and she's like, no, 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 take a separate with each. And Tamuna asks her, like, why, why you need the separate? No, no, I don't need, they need. Once, uh, once I go in Hollywood and become biggest star, they're going to happy oh that God. they have <laughs> pictures with it. She was five, man, she was five. <laughs> hey, you got to know what you want, right? <laughs> Can you imagine so confident she was? And yeah, I just dropped her at school like before I talked to her, like an hour ago. And she's 11 now. And she's very like, it's like 25. <laughs> <laughs> Does she, is, she, is there any movies coming up that like, or anything that she's auditioning for? Or are you more uh, focused on her school right now? Uh, we're so she's growing to going to middle school. She, it's her mm-hmm. kind of big step from elementary to middle. But uh, also they are working on a couple of movies. Uh, it was really slow in 2020, but mm-hmm. there are some good things happening, and soon, soon we're gonna know when and dates and stuff. The, the last year she did some big thing. Also, this on Amazon Prime went the. The series of Hannah, Hannah, if you remember. Yeah, I saw, yes. Um, and she was uh, one of the motivational videos they uh, recorded. I mean, a video too. It's funny. So, I know, I saw the video. I just, it was awesome. <laughs> oh, you? I, I, yeah. I just helped her to. <laughs> yeah. Like people say it's for boys, and my dad said I can do what I want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. If Obviously, you do way, way better than what I just did. <laughs> 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 it sounded motivational. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like South Park. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad that your life is, you know, it's right now it's heading to such a positive direction just everything seems to be thank you i i I know it all comes from hard work so i'm I'm glad to see that everything's great and hope the the house thing goes good with the bank and the credit and all of that and to speak to you sometime after your next fight or or soon sure my pleasure to talk to you (laughs) and thanks for your time and the interest Uh, of course and i was gonna ask you because okay i had i have it written down and i tried it because on youtube like i said there was a pronunciation so there's uh gamadlob madlob yes that's a thank you i have to it's like a Thank you, and you answer welcome. I have to tell you, Arapris. It's kind Arapris. of Arapris. Uh, yeah, Arapris is when is somebody telling Madlo? You have to say Arapris. Thank That's you too. Hard language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a uh, own alphabet too. You know, like the, there is in the world only twelve or, or thirteen alphabet, and one of them is Georgian. Did Did that make learning English harder or easier? Uh, it's nothing related to any other language. Only we speak and we use this language, but uh, it's definitely the harder than English. <laughs> yeah, if that. you speak Georgian, and if you can learn Georgian, you can learn any other any language. language. Yeah. <laughs> well, if just hello oh, yeah. is Gamarjova. Yeah, there you go. That's like English <laughs> elite level. That's like. I went to some fancy Harvard University and I use a word mm-hmm. that big. <laughs> and that's just hello in Georgian. <laughs> true, true. And uh, uh, some of the words, we sound like you can think that, oh, what is it? Like, they're fighting and 
in reality, it's kind of nice what you say. Or something, <laughs> you know, it, it's very different language, definitely. But the one good thing is like, however we write, that's the way we speak. Let's say if I write A, right? It's one letter. It's not A, it's A, right? Kind of in some. Yeah. So we say A, A. But mm-hmm. good, the like that, you know, not like A B or something. If I write yes, something, right. let, let's say take is like T A K E. That's a take, right? We would mm-hmm. we would read we would read like take or something yeah. like this. Makes well, and, what's, uh, Spanish know. is like that. For Spanish, you just you just read. You cannot yeah. know how to. You cannot you cannot understand it, but you can read it. You know, mm, English yeah. is like there's a silent letter. There's Sometimes you pronounce like this one in front, and the worst is if is if you understand American English, <laughs> and I'm sorry, but you come oh, to yeah. the UK, and there's just yeah, there's so UK many different. different accents here. Oh my god, I don't understand. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> the first time I came here, I was like, "Do do I speak English? <laughs> What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll let you go. Thank you Dude, so so much. They would sure take care. It was good to talk to you. <laughs> you too. I think the Bye. internet cut off. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. You too.